What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Karan, and do you like sports? Well, if you do, we're going to talk about basketball. Now, the NBA trade deadline ended as of the recording of this podcast. You know, lesser stars, superstar changes, NBA finals predictions, and much more. Let's talk about those three bombshells between the Nets, the Lakers, and the Mavericks. The Nets. Let's start with them first. They agreed to a blockbuster trade with the Phoenix Suns between Kevin Durant and TJ Warner to the Suns, while Brooklyn receives Miles Bridges, Jay Crowder, and Cam Johnson in a fourth round draft. Now, Kevin Durant, he is, I will say, one of the top five best players in the league. Maybe, maybe he could, he could actually be top two between the Brooklyn. Okay, we can get to that in a second. The Suns. The Suns have a big three now. Now they get they gave away Miles Bridges, right? Gave away Miles Bridges. And the, 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 think about this: giving away Miles Bridges is like that's their defender. They gave away Jay Crowder as well. So then there's that. But they do have you know Devin Booker, CP3. But CP3 is kind of on this downside. He's a little bit getting way too old for this. So it's a big trio. And I don't think Kevin Durant's coming back until at least after the All Star break. So then there's that. Now we have the Lakers. Okay, so the Los Angeles Lakers trade away Pat- Patrick Beverly for Orlando lottery pick Mobamba. Mobamba, it's he's kind of like stretch big. He can shoot from distance a little bit. He's a I will say a backup center to AD, and AD can teach him how to stretch. Give, give him a little bit of footwork. They also gave away Russell Westbrook, okay, for D'Angelo Russell. D'Angelo Russell is not really a point guard per se, but he used to be with, with the Lakers at some point when he got drafted by them. So he kind of knows playing field and there's that. And we got the Dallas Mavericks. Oh, before we get to the Dallas Mavericks, LeBron James breaking the all-time leading scoring record a couple of days ago. He had to wear the headband. I, I mean, just to be historically accurate, that's pretty funny. But yeah, I, I didn't see it, but I, I just saw highlights of it. So I just want to take note of that. Great accomplishment, great accomplishment. Now we got the Dallas Mavericks. Kyrie Irving is with the Dallas Mavericks. Okay, with well, Luka Doncic. Luka Doncic is injured right now. I don't know when he's coming back. So when uh, Kyrie comes back, he played a couple of days ago and they won. So when whenever Luka Doncic comes back and Kyrie, we're going to see how that works out. So let me know your thoughts about the bombshell drops. I'm just pertaining to these three teams. I know there's been a bunch of other trades, not to mention others, but yeah, these are just the three bombshells I dropped. Let me know your thoughts about the latest trade deadlines information. Who will be your finals predictions at the all the trades? If the Phoenix, I, I, I might have to go with Phoenix and hmm, I don't know, Phoenix and the Clippers in, in the uh, Western Conference Finals, Phoenix and Clippers. Eastern Conference Finals, I got the Bucks and the Celtics. Those are my predictions. What are yours? So hopefully you enjoy this podcast. Let me know your thoughts down below or however you're going to listen to this. Mind sharing this podcast would be nice. And hopefully come, I will make more videos in the future. Hopefully enjoy this podcast. Thank you. And this is Prime Excellence. And this is the NBA Predictions app. Peace.